Last night I watched One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest for the first time, so today, I'm him. How do I look? Oh yeah, and by the way, Minecraft, <laughs> they just changed everything forever. So I want to kick things off today by taking a look at the change log and more specifically zooming out of the change log. Take a look at this change log. Um, this thing is absolutely insane. The snapshot is gigantic. It's got technical new stuff, non-technical bug fixes. It's, it's all here. Other than at the like button, I feel like legally there's only one spot we could begin today's snapshot video. And oh, that's what the continuation of the mystery from the last one. Breach 3. What in the world? Okay. Go ahead and enchant that maze. Let's go ahead and just run that a couple times. Unbreaking 3. Oh, familiar. Density 3. No clue. What in the world? Unbreaking 3. Breach 3. Oh my god. The mace. The mace now actually has enchantments. There are not one, not two, but three brand new enchantments in the snapshot. And even better, the mace has a glow up every single enchantment that you're looking at right here can be put on the mace as well fire aspect too three brand new enchantments we're talking wind burst we're talking breach and we're talking density all right so a good spot to begin here today is with the fact that the mace has kind of received a little bit of a nerf the baseline additional damage that the mace is going to build up like when you're falling has been decreased previously i would have one shot this iron golem right there now i don't one shot now, first off, I'd like to take a look at density. It's got five levels, and it is, quote, a common enchantment. You'll be able to get this enchantment from the enchanting table, and oh, baby, do you see what just happened? Here, you go ahead and watch it one more time. Density. It's one shot in this iron golem. You see, with the density mace, my friend, <laughs> it's stronger than it ever was before. So each additional level of density is going to add one damage per block fall. That'll mean that technically a plain old unenchanted mace is weaker than it was a week ago. However... It's much stronger enchanted. Next up, out of our trio of new enchantments, we've got a rare enchantment. You can get it from the enchanting table. It's Breach. Now in a survival setting, Breach is going to be a little bit difficult to show off because it has to do with armor that a mob or a target is potentially wearing. Maybe Breach is going to be absolutely clutch in a PvP situation with the mace. I mean, or of course, that brand new ominous trial, but hey, wait, uh, spoiler alert, you didn't hear about that yet anyways. <laughs> now maybe most cool of all is Wind Burst. Wind Burst is something of a treasure enchantment, you could say. Now I haven't tested this out yet. This might be dangerous, but check this out. We hit the golem and then I will, uh, it, I don't know if you can see what's happening, but <laughs> all right, perhaps a slightly more unsuspecting target. We use wind breach and I am shot up into the air, which means I could actually take advantage of the whole fall damage thing. We hit it once we fall down. No, we hit it once we fall down and we could just basically keep doing it. All right, so I haven't tested it out that much at all yet, but this is fun so far. Like. All right, buckle buddy, netherite armor. How do you like this? It's fun. No, no. Oh, this is cool. This is so cool with the devs cooked up. I was really wondering with the whole like mace thing, like how uh, practical is that going to be in a survival setting against like mobs? But oh, no, no, no. If you can get your timings right. And if the mob doesn't like, you know, get shot too far away. Oh, did I just discover something? All right. So like we could use the mobs if I had a continuous mob or a mob with a lot of health to just send myself up into the sky. <laughs> you know, this is exactly why I love making these snapshot videos. You discover something new for like the first time. And clearly from the start, I'm like something of a professional. This is so beautiful. Wind burst is so good, but it's also rare. You're gonna get it from an ominous trial. Ominous events. Oh boy, the devs have gone ahead and reworked the entire bad omen effect in the snapshot. Hey, oh, but real quick, let's go ahead and check this out. And for the purpose of science not related to skill issue, we'll go ahead and do that. So first things first, all of these new mace enchantments, they're not mutually exclusive, which means they can all be on the same mace together if you've done your grinding. Now in this particular situation, that's going to mean breach plus the wind boost thing. I'm going to fall down and do quite a bit of damage to this iron golem. Three hits right there, and that buddy's gone, he's cooked. Now, the big thing that I'm very curious about here is, say, like, sharpness. Is that mutually exclusive with any of that? Now, the way to test that one out is in survival Minecraft over at my local anvil. Of course, things like mending and unbreaking, I mean, with the enchantments already on it, it's going to be expensive, but 100% I could do it. Fire aspect, I assume, as well, that's good. How about a sharpness 5 mace, too? Ah. Hey, wait, um, awkward. <laughs> that is totally my bad. I uh, sharpness can't go on the mace, but Bane of Arthropods definitely can, and it's not mutually exclusive. Or smite can go on it. Not sharpness at all. I'm so sorry about that. Oh. 
Please allow me to make up for that small mistake by enticing you with some beautiful brand new looking items. So we've got that ominous banner. Was that always called that? Then we've got five brand new potions with a clean looking icon. That might be my favorite icon in the game now and a brand new ominous trial key. So the trial chamber update is actually gonna spill into pillagers now and raids as well. That buddy front and center right there. You know how it works. Traditionally, we would go ahead and take this buddy out and we'd get the bad omen effect, but check out that icon in the top corner. Oh yeah, that's right. There's no icon to check out. Instead, we still get the banner like normal. So that's pretty cool. And we've gotten an ominous bottle. Now this ominous bottle, we take a look at it. It's got bad omen four. For my next science test, I'm learning in real time with you today. What I would like to do is find another unsuspecting poor pillager and do it again. All right, so does it stack? No, it doesn't. I got a completely different bottle. This time, just bad omen one. Yeah, by the way, these new potions, they can stack up to 64. Hey, Mojang, that means it's finally time. Come on, please, please. Hey, let us at least stack this. Anyways, next up, in survival, let's go ahead and just drink this bad omen one bottles when i drink it oh look at that scary new effect that's cool looking the bad omen has a brand new icon that's evil i love it oh i drank a bad omen four whoops well anyways it all basically worked the same as it worked before bad omen if you didn't know it was stackable meaning you could get it and get it and get it and get it i move into a village and check that out that icon just transformed it's got that weird like uh, tentacles in the back right there but now I've begun a raid, and oh, look at that. That's so evil. So the effect is now turned into the raid omen effect, and it has a small countdown. That's going to basically give you a little bit of time to prepare inside of the village. Maybe, like, run around and consider locking the villagers up or something like that. After that goes away, the raid begins just like normal. Now, in a normal world, I would spend a lot of time and maybe, like, uh, take a look at the raid and see what's up. But long story short, spoiler alert, the raid is basically the same from this point on. It's just a different way of getting the bad omen effect. So that's going to mean a lot of raid farms. Maybe some of them are broken. Other ones are changed. For example, my raid farm, it should technically still work. It's just not going to be fully AFKable anymore. You'll get those bad omen bottles from time to time from the raiders. But, but you're going to have to come back into the game and manually drink that bottle. Because unfortunately, there is no splash bad omen bottle. Oh, buddy, they've done it again. They've done it again. I was working on a video like behind the scenes of like checking out every single room in the trial chambers, but then I never ended up putting it out. I record a lot of different things. Well, good thing I didn't because they changed another chamber. <laughs> And all of it, all together. Well, asterisk on all of it, because how you find it, that whole map mechanic from the last snapshot, yeah, that's still valid. That definitely works. However, inside of the trial chambers, we're going to have different kinds of vaults now. And some are going to be a little bit more uncommon than others. And the placement is completely changed. You check that out and look at that evil looking icon. Oh, I'm in love with the snapshot. I love it. All right, so let's take a look at the, the layout of this room because this one's a little bit familiar. You know, we got the whole little watery water trick in the middle, or at least we should have had watery water in the middle, maybe a little bug, but yeah, uh, the water thing in the middle, the magma blocks right there. We got a grates in there now. Oh, that's so different looking. This whole parkour situation right there, that's completely different. A different location for the spawner over there, different staircase. Like, yeah, all of this is completely different previously if you remember you would move in here and there would be like a vault the vault's still there but yeah look at that new layout and i love how these are all like sitting higher up on pedestals now that's so cool now let's go ahead and move around through this uh, <laughs> vault right here because look at that uh, the chamber up high right there we got the more terracotta red terracotta as far as i've seen so far is gonna signify or help signify this different vault same with the candles every time but Oh, man, this is so cool. Now, I don't know what to expect. I want to go into this one a little bit blind. I know that as soon as I give myself this whole bad omen effect and take on the trial, it's going to shift entirely. But I don't exactly know how much is going to shift. I feel like this room, which also seems to be a much wider, grander layout than before, by the way. We got all these pots in there. The hallway was way more narrow before. I love it. But I feel like this might be a fun challenge to take on. It looks like we're going to have some stray and maybe some spiders. Now, you got to remember, when it was initially shut off, it was stated to be a mid-to-game challenge. So I'm going with, like, uh, Diamond, which is maybe a little bit more late game, but I'm not enchanting anything. Now, before I do anything here, I'm going to go ahead and drink this bad omen bottle and get the ominous effect. After that, I'm going to go ahead and move move a little bit closer to the vaults or the trial whatever you want to call these things i'm going to walk closer to it and then oh look at that it completely shifts and changes now oh no oh no you got the trimmed armor boy no leave me alone we're gonna go ahead and move a little closer to that one it seems like you got to be closer now 
And yeah, these mobs, not only, do you, do you see the particles around it? They have a different effect going on, but the mobs are going to be a little bit more dangerous now. Essentially, you take on a trial with the bad omen effect and... Oh, the different sounds, that's evil. You take it on with a different effect and it's gonna be way more dangerous. Stop it, buddy, leave me alone, leave me alone. Look at their armor, that's so cool looking. Now right now in the snapshot, you try it out, you can get the trimmed armor actually dropping from these things. The dev said that it's not gonna work like that forever. I feel like it totally should. Anyways, after we take them all out, are you gone? Are you guys all gone? They probably fell. Ooh, okay, so while I walk around this thing, by the way, I don't know if you hear it, but it, it, like, loads up, and then it's giving random effects to not only me, but the mobs as well. So, like, the trial itself is way more difficult. Spider, spider, please go away. Are you the last one? Please be the last one? No, you're the last one. Oh, last of your kind. That was so fun. That was legitimately so cool. Please. No, no, no. Okay, so they, they were, oh, stop it with the effects. They readjusted the loot from this stuff. I guess it's going to be like better food now. Uh, I got to get down there. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You hear that? It's a little more squishy than before. Also, the mace doesn't work on the cobwebs anymore, but oh boy. Goodbye, buddy. One shot. Oh, that was the end. Let's see what we get. Okay, so this is so good. This is so actually amazing and fire. And yes, we got it. We got the brand new ominous key. Now you're going to be able to get the ominous key from an ominous vault. By the way, I still have that ominous effect going on. So I could like, excuse me, it's called trial omen. I'm butchering everything today. I'm so sorry. But, but you still got that bad effect, which means you could go room to room inside of this chamber and actually go ahead and like convert the other chambers into the bad ominous chambers. So like I walk into here, get real close and ooh, soul comes out. It's green. And this is going to be an ominous one now. Now, when it comes to these ominous spawners, they, the mobs get like different effects, which might buff them up inside of combat and you might get some effects as well too but i think the same amount of mobs are going to be dropped out of this spawner that should mean when i take you away care no, excuse me excuse me so the next big move that i would want to do is back here in this chamber i want to find one of these ominous vaults hopefully the breeze doesn't find me um just thought about that that was a bad idea the breeze's ai has been improved in this snapshot as well it's no longer going to jump into dangerous blocks uh, during combat hey come on buddy stop it eh, eh, stop it we go ahead and tower all the way up to this ominous vault use the key on it and now we're gonna get the good loot from the trial chamber the good loot from the trial chamber Trial Chambers Loot. Now the change log is maybe intentionally a little bit vague when it comes to ominous vaults and the plain old vaults that are still there and what you can get. We do know that the loot has been changed across the board. The ominous vaults are going to get valuable items like golden enchanted apple, the banner patterns and some templates, and the heavy core. Now for the purpose of example, let's go ahead and clear off that effect and move back into this room. The breeze spawner that I already activated is still going to be ominous because it, it was ominous when I activated it. But the other spawners that have now spawned like skeletons and other terrible things that are, <laughs> of course you're going to be the one to take me out. The, the other spawners are not ominous. So it's like you could have some ominous challenge, some non-ominous and, and whatever. Also, after you defeat a challenge and that spawner was ominous, it kind of resets back to normal, which means if you want to take it on again and get the dangerous bad challenge, well, you got to get the effect again. So does that mean that to kick off all of the challenge, you have to go find the pillagers? Well, thankfully, no, no, no. Here we have a plain old classic vault that's going to work the same. If you take on a normal trial challenge, you could get a normal key. Then you could take that normal key and unlock one of the vaults. And look at that on the first try right there. I got diamonds this time a little bit better. And I've gotten myself an ominous bottle. Now, what I want to see here is what kind of levels are we looking at when it comes to the ominous bottle that I get from this thing? And, oh, man, it doesn't look like any luck this time. According to the changelog, the ominous bottle is going to be uncommon loot from this vault, but it still definitely is loot. And, hey, look at that. It looks like across the board, the loot in general is maybe looking a little bit better. Oh, by the way, that brand new Mason Chairman, the treasure one I talked about earlier, you're going to have to get it from one of the more dangerous vaults. Oh, wow. It looks like I just got, like, crazy luck on that first one because when i'm opening all these other vaults i'm actually not yeah i'm not getting that bad omen potion i wish that would be like maybe a little bit more common or i'm just having terrible luck right now i love the idea of being able to optionally up the difficulty inside of this thing
So, oh gosh, like looking at this changelog here, there is so much inside of this snapshot. I don't know if I got it all. I definitely keep your eyes out for an everything series episode on uh, the trial spotter now because that's definitely going to be a thing. But let's take a look at the effect things that you could get. Now, keep in mind that this effect stuff is only going to happen. Oh, another one of those. This effect stuff is only going to happen if you approach a trial chamber vault. Whoa. Oh, that's brand new. We got a lot of different layouts. I love that fountain. Anyways, these effects that we're going to take a look at will only happen if you approach the vault with this effect and take it out in survival and turn it into, like, the dangerous one. The effects that will be granted to both you and to mobs at random, a wind charge one, a weaving one, which this is so cool that these mobs can have these effects and just, like, randomly throw cobwebs out when they're taken out. Oh, that's evil. Oozing, which is going to spawn slime in randomly when they're taken out. That's evil. And infested, that's what happened with the silverfish that I experienced. I was wondering what in the world. Anyways, next up, I guess we should move on to layout layout because apparently the layout of the trial chambers has been changed. This room, by the way, I'm thinking about it now, maybe has some function. You could open the door and just hide in that room if you're getting overwhelmed. But anyways, this trial chamber is absolutely ginormous. So that's the big room that we're checking out. We got the circle room over there. But moving around, we've got a whole nother layer to this thing. Oh, with a big maze room. I think that's the pedestal one. And then moving down here, even more as well. That familiar tree room, I'm glad to see it here. I love it. The tree room, it looks to be completely unchanged with the little set your spawn thing over there. But wow, man, this is a big structure now. I love it. Wait, what's that? You were about to leave. You thought the changes were done for today. No, my friend, they're not. This is a round of changes that I actually almost missed from the change log too. But yes, yes, inside of this snapshot, we have ourselves. Well, we kind of have a little bit of a brewing update. New potions that are able to be brewed. So we're going to start everything off the same. And then every one of these new potions is going to kick off with an awkward potion. So this first potion, we're going to go ahead and brew this with a slime block. Go ahead and brew it up. And then we get a potion of oozing. Next up, we're going to use that brand new breeze rod inside of the brewing sand to get ourselves a potion of wind charging the cobweb it actually surprisingly gets a brand new use inside of the snapshot and i think if i'm not wrong the first use in all of survival minecraft so we go ahead and brew this one up and then we're gonna get ourselves the potion of weaving the potion of weaving is the one that spawns cobwebs all over the place and yeah that's a big hint you see what's going on here these potions the ones with the effects that are applied during the ominous trial well you can make them now depending on your situation maybe pvp this could be really useful taking on your friend in like a group or something and yeah you could get the potion with the stone block, you get the potion of infestation. And yes, yes, as you would maybe hope and dream, you can make splash and lingering variants of these potions as well, which means you can apply these things to random mobs. Like, let's say this poor cow over here. I'll go ahead and take the cow out. And then because of the effect, slime are actually spawned in just like that. You can make like really cool challenge maps or rooms or just maybe have a little bit of fun with combat in general. Maybe this is a, well... I guess you need a slime block first to get it, but you can kind of like farm slime with it. Maybe that's a terrible idea. I don't know. <laughs> this Mason Jammin is so cool. I think I'm obsessed with this thing. I need feather falling though. That would definitely be nice. All right. Uh, anyways, this is a gigantic, ginormous snapshot. If I missed anything today, truly, I am very sorry. If you find anything else that I missed, just throw it down in the comments below. And what do you think about 1.21 now? This is huge. Uh, what a change. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been me, Waddles. Oh, and we're still in 1.20.5 snapshots. So, <laughs> what in the world? Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.